Hey guys, this is Alex Sturgeon, uh, finally done with the Carpet Crash In 3 uh, layout, and I am excited to uh, bring it to you guys. If you're up uh, or if you see this in the morning, um, this is what you're gonna have starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow with uh, practice and then seating uh, tomorrow night. Remember, you don't have to be here for seating, it's just something fun to do, kind of gives an idea of uh, lap times and stuff. So let's check it out. Uh, let's just start right here. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're looking at carpet. All right, so this corner here, and uh, see we got the corners taped down so that if anybody does a burnout, it won't get too bad. And then you'll turn here. It's a little tight, uh, 180 here into our first jump that we're gonna focus on. This is the, uh, the bigger of the two doubles uh, that we've had um, all season long. And then after the landing, you're gonna have to set up for this guy. So I brought out the kicker from uh, last year. We haven't used it all season until now and this will probably be the talk of the weekend because um, it does pop you pretty high up and uh, you're gonna have to really focus on the right amount of speed for the landing um, if you land short it is curvy so uh, it shouldn't be too bad if you land long of course it's flat and yes I've already gunned it as fast and, and hard as I could and I landed about right there Um, then you're going to go up to our uh, infamous uh, riser corner, and we have now completed the actual stairs. I know uh, last week and a couple times I've used this, we've only had one of those lower things, but I finally got the, the other four foot sections uh, built. So there's Mr. Trash Can. You can see I got our wall up. Um, I reinforced it, so hopefully uh, it holds up to uh, everybody hitting it. Then you're going to scoot down here, come out over here, and then you can see... Um, this corner sticks out just a little bit. So you can see there's the line right there into our bigger of the two rollers that we normally have. And then you'll, uh, so you'll do that any way that you want. And then you have to shoot through this right here. So you can see um, this is gonna be probably the most technical area of the racetrack. I know it was on on-road uh, yesterday. Sorry, I'm kind of, I, I burped. <laughs> uh, anyways, so you'll uh, you'll make your way over that and shimmy through this little, it's like a half chicane. Then another uh, 180 into a smaller tabletop uh, that sets you up for the uh, small straightaway. And you'll go down this. I actually had originally intended this to be full of jumps. Um, we were going to use the two doubles, the little one into the big one, but... Um, I just don't think it's a good idea to put jumps uh, right there because then you'll end up in the pits or you'll hit my TV, which is not good because uh, that's that's literally my TV. Uh, so then you come in here and we have a table. We have had a tabletop here uh, all season long so far for the carpet, the ProTech uh, Carpet Off-Road Syndicate. But as you can see now, we have put the lower of the two doubles um, just in testing it. I can tell you that this is a heck of a lot easier um, to make in the sweeper. Also, it, it, it takes away some of the drama um, on the first corner and uh, also um, just easier to marshal. So that, that's what I really wanted to focus on with this. So we're going to go up in the driver's stand and look at the whole thing and, uh, and then we'll shut her off. So as you can see, we do have um, carpet infield. Uh, that r really helps define um, the actual carpet that we're driving on. Also, uh, it helps protect the... Uh, carpet from getting all jacked up from people that don't listen and don't put uh, uh, chassis protectors on or shock tower protectors or whatever so I'll catch you trust me uh, okay so straight away meow, over that meow, into here meow, er, and then this jump meow, and then the big popper whoop, and then you land and then the tabletop turn and then back over here down here and then meow, and then you turn and go blip. And it's such a fun layout. I mean, just testing it. Um, on my live stream, uh, I was, you guys caught me trying to figure out if I wanted to put the popper jump there, or if I want to popper jump here. And I chose here for a couple reasons. Um, one, it just flows better, but also I did not want a big poppy jump uh, right next to the start of the straightaway. That's probably not the best of ideas. I don't want to see anybody get broke or anything like that. Um, 
from somebody going the wrong way or jumping off onto the wrong side. So uh, a couple reasons I did that. Plus, if somebody really gunned it, they could probably end up in the in the seats over there. So, whoo, man, I'm excited. Uh, it was a lot of work putting this thing together. Um, I've had this track layout in my sketchbook for a while, and uh, uh, tonight I really uh, got some stuff done that I needed to. I put some more uh, carpet strips up um, on the on the faces of the jumps, um, so we don't have to keep using the remnants. We can now use the remnants for more infield uh, to protect the uh, carpet even more. And uh, we've got a couple more black carpet layers. So there, there's still exposed uh, areas of the carpet that we normally race on, but then there's also lots of sections that, uh, you know, um, are protected big time. So, okay, I've talked for almost six minutes. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks for uh, sticking with me here. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. If not, um, I will definitely get some videos of practice and uh, really appreciate you guys turning in. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, tell your friends, and uh, get them on board the Hobbyplex show. Also, check out our uh, podcast. Get on SoundCloud or uh, uh, what is it, iTunes, and look up Hobbyplex show. Thanks for tuning in.